Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedor, and today you will learn how to use мне with other words within phrases. I have a lot of great phrases prepared for you today, and they all are going to be involving some sort of emotion or some sort of feeling that we have. Well, I think most of them, not all of them, but most of them. Because мне in Russian means to me. So when we say something, something is to me, we are most likely going to be explaining our emotion or our feeling. Okay, so the first one is мне нравится. Мне нравится, you might already know this, мне нравится means I like. I can say мне нравится кофе. I like coffee. Okay, next up is мне надо. Мне надо means I need to do something. Мне надо сходить в туалет. I need to go to the restroom. Okay, надо means I need. Also, a very similar one is мне нужно. Нужно is pretty much a replacement of надо. Still going to be the same thing. I need to. However, нужно is not only used with verbs, but also it can be used with nouns. I can say, and нужно will change depending on the gender. We can say мне нужен for masculine, мне нужна for feminine, мне нужно for neuter, and мне нужны for plural. I can say Мне нужны новые ботинки. I need new shoes. Okay? Next up is мне хочется. Мне хочется means I want or I have a craving for or I feel like I want this. So мне хочется is not exactly I want to do something. It's more like I have a feeling. I have a desire. I have a craving. It's like when you want something but not with your head, but with your heart, okay? When you want something, not consciously, but you have a feeling for it, you have a craving for it. Sometimes, you know, when you're sitting around and you're like, ah, oh, I want some pizza. It's not a, a, a want that you have, that you develop that mentally, oh, it's gonna be great if I ate some pizza. It's more of a craving that you have. So, мне хочется is used for that. Next up is мне идет. Мне идет means this suits me. I can say, мне идет, okay, мне идет этот пиджак. This blazer fits me, or this bla blazer suits me. Not necessarily when it comes to the size, but more so, it looks good on me. Okay, мне идет, and then you add whatever fits you, or whatever is, is making you look better. That's what we use мне идет for. Next, we're getting into the emotions now. мне холодно. мне холодно means I am cold. Or I feel cold. Uh, when again, this is when you are speaking in, in English. In English, we say I am cold. But in Russian, that would mean that I am cold on the inside. I'm a cold person. But мне means it is cold to me. My surroundings or my environment is making me cold. I'm not cold as a person, but I feel cold. A similar one is мне тепло. I am warm. Or мне жарко. I am hot. Мне Жарко. I'm hot. Before we get into the next ones, guys, join our Beef Link Camp with the first link in the description. It's our beginner and intermediate intensive course where we will learn Russian, set the foundation right. If you have missed some things when it comes to grammar or vocabulary, we'll fill, fill those holes and we will give you all the information that you would need to build a great foundation, start speaking Russian if you don't speak Russian yet, or improve upon your Russian and speak Russian better with less mistakes faster and understand what people are, are, are telling you with better listening. Join us with the first link in the description. I'll be there teaching you guys personally. It's our opportunity twice a year to interact, you know, uh, more personally on a more personal level for those eight weeks. So join us with the first link in the description. Next, a phrase that I have for you is мне приятно. Мне приятно means, um, Hmm. It's pleasant to me. Or this is uh, this is making me feel good. Приятно is when something when somebody does something to you, maybe give, gives you flowers, and you can say мне приятно, my pleasure, or it's pleasant to me. Also, on the contrary, you can say мне неприятно when um, somebody does something to you that you don't like, or it makes you feel unpleasant, or makes you feel irritated. Мне неприятно means I don't feel good, or or this is not. Uh, not my pleasure. I would say the best um, context that I've heard this used, it's when somebody says something to you and you don't want to say bad things back to them and you just say, мне неприятно. 
I don't like, I don't like this. It doesn't, I, I don't feel good after you saying that. I'm not going to be going back and forth with you, but I just want to let you know that I don't feel good after what you just said. So, мне неприятно is used for that. Next phrase is мне больно. It hurts. Мне больно means it hurts when somebody does something and it hurts, maybe they pinch you, right? Ah, мне больно, it hurts. Next up we have мне обидно. Мне обидно means I take offense to that. Мне обидно is when uh, you say I'm hurt, but not when it comes to physical pain, but мне обидно is more I'm hurt emotionally. Мне обидно is when somebody says something bad to you, calls your name, or says something that is not true, you can say мне обидно. I take offense to that, or I feel offended. It's mostly a personal thing uh, when we when we say мне обидно. I feel I don't feel good. I feel offended, and I I'm hurt. You hurt me emotionally. Next is мне интересно. I am interested. Мне интересно is also can be used to say uh, when you are curious about something when you're asking a question. You can say мне интересно, где вы это купили? I'm wondering where did you buy this, or I'm curious where did you buy this. Okay, so мне интересно. Next is мне приснилось. I had a dream about something. And приснилось is only a dream that you see in your sleep. Not a dream when you dream about something. Okay, only when you sleep, we say мне приснилось. And then you go on to tell what was in your dream and what happened in your dream. Okay, next up is мне кажется. Мне кажется means I think or it seems to me. Мне кажется. When you explain your opinion... Or uh, either you explain your opinion, you'd say, Мне кажется, что это неправильно. I think that, that, that this is not right. Мне кажется, что это неправильно. I think, or it seems to me, that this is not right. Or also, when you are not sure what, uh, what's going to happen, and you can say, Мне кажется, все будет нормально. I think everything is going to be fine. I think you're ex expressing your opinion. You don't know exactly if it's going to be fine or not. But this is something that you can talk about when it comes to just simply your opinion, when you're not sure about something. And the very last phrase for today is Мне все равно. Мне все равно means I don't care or I'm indifferent. Мне все равно, it doesn't have to be this negative, oh, I don't care. It's like, oh, this, this just doesn't matter to me, you know, I don't... I, we can go to the movies or to the museum. Мне все равно. I don't care. It's up to y'all because I have no opinion about this. It, I'm indifferent. I, it doesn't matter for me. Okay? That's it, guys. Now you know a few phrases with мне and how to use it best in your own Russian speech. And join our beef link camp with this button right here. Let's learn together. Let's work on your Russian together.